Okay, in this video I will be talking about a, uh, an alternative for the Xsane uh, image scanning program. Now, um, uh, if you have a scanner and you use it, uh, you probably know that um, if you go to Applications and Graphics and Xsane, you get this program, but it's really, uh, it's really cluttered, there's way too many windows. It is. Um, it, it does have a lot of uh, advanced features here, but um, it's just uh, too much for most people. Uh, I've done a video before where I showed you an alternative, uh, a simpler one, and uh, but that one only works with Epson scanners. Now, if you don't have an Epson scanner, uh, I found an alternative. Uh, it's almost. Uh, uh, as simple as uh, the iScan program that's for uh, Epson's. Um, it is available in your uh, Synaptic Package Manager and if you want it, it's called ScanLite. That's Scan with a K. And uh, I'm gonna launch it right now. Okay, this is it. You get one window and it's, uh, it's pretty simple and uh, easy to use. Uh, from here, you can uh, choose if you want to um, scan in color or grayscale or or black and white. Uh, you also choose your uh, your uh, DPI, the resolution, and the bit depth, and uh, you have a bunch of settings here. And just to uh, try it out here, I'm gonna go to preview. I have a picture in my scanner and uh, I'm just going to go and uh, click preview and it should scan a, uh, a low resolution preview and after that you can select just the, the area that you want and then you can scan the image. So uh, I've got the preview now and uh, I'm going to go here, this icon right here and you just, you just select the area you want and you go to scan and it should scan that area Okay, so it's done scanning and uh, we've got our image right here. As you can see, uh, I chose a pretty big uh, resolution. Now, I still think the iScan uh, uh, program is, uh, is better than this one, but it only works with, uh, with Epson scanners and uh, if, you wanna, if you have an Epson scanner, I would recommend you to go and um, install iScan uh, from your Synaptic Package Manager. Uh, that one is uh, is better and easier to use. Okay, thanks for watching.